Hello everyone, I hope you're having a nice day. Before I get into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to one of my subscribers for requesting this video. In the everything you need to know about the Black Vulture video, Turkey Vulture 28 left this comment. Thank you so much for your request and your patience in the creation of this video. If you too would like to request a video, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below. But either way, let's get right into the video and discuss everything you need to know about the turkey vulture. Turkey vultures are large dark birds with long broad wings. They are bigger than most raptors except when it comes to eagles and their relatives, condors. When in flight, turkey vultures are seen to have long feathers that look like fingers and a long tail that extends past the tips of their toes. As well as this, they hold their wings slightly raised when flying making a V-shape when seen head-on. From a distance, turkey vultures appear all black, but up close are dark brown with a featherless red head and pale bill. This featherless red head is why the turkey vulture gets its name. It simply looks like a turkey. The reason why its head is featherless is because carrion, or dead animal flesh, does not adhere to the skin as it would to feathers. While most of their body and four wing are dark, the undersides of the flight feathers are a paler white, giving a two-toned appearance. Noticing the substantial amount of white feathers on the underside is key to distinguishing the turkey vulture from the black vulture in flight, because the black vulture only has white fingertips. When it comes to behavior traits, every vulture's main trait is their flight pattern, specifically when flying in thermals. Now, I already described in detail how vultures use thermals in the black vulture video, so if you want to know more than just the basics, consider checking that out. But for right now, just know that turkey vultures use thermals to conserve energy and reach a higher vantage point to find food. When a group of vultures are seen using a thermal at the same time, this is known as a kettle because of their appearance of water boiling in a pot. When out of thermals, turkey vultures flight pattern can be described as teetering with very few wing beats. When it comes to a behavior trait held solely by the turkey vulture, we have the turkey vulture's acute sense of smell. Turkey vultures have been known to smell carrion over a mile away. This means that the turkey vulture has the largest olfactory system, or in other words, smelling system, of all birds. Other vultures, like the black vulture, rely upon their vision to find food, but will often resort to following turkey vultures because of their superior sense of smell. Also, if you haven't noticed yet, a really cool fact about the turkey vultures is that their nostrils are actually just a singular hole across their face. Turkey vultures actually lack the necessary vocal organs to make proper songs. Most of their vocalizations come down to a form of low, gruntal hisses made when they are irritated or attempting to intimidate other vultures. They also may give a low nasal whine while in flight. Although courting vultures may give a yapping sound, Courtship rituals mainly involve a physical display. Courtship rituals involve several individuals gathering in a circle where they perform hopping movements around the perimeter with wings partially spread. Finally, let's talk about habitat and breeding. Turkey vultures are common around open areas such as roadsides, suburbs, farm fields, countryside, and food sources such as landfills, trash heaps, and construction sites. On sunny days, look for them as early as 9 a.m. In cooler weather and at night, they roost on poles, towers, dead trees, and fence posts. Turkey vultures nest in rock crevices, caves, ledges, thickets, mammal burrows, and hollow logs, fallen trees, abandoned hawk or heron nests, and abandoned buildings. However, turkey vultures don't build full nests. They may scrape out a spot in the soil or leaf litter, pull aside obstacles, or arrange scraps of vegetation or rotting wood. Once found, many of these nest sites may be used repeatedly for a decade or more. Their breeding starts in March, peaks in April to May, and continues into June. Turkey vultures mate for life, but upon the death of a partner, an individual may take a new mate. Well, there you have it, guys. I believe I just told you everything you need to know about the turkey vulture. As always, if I forgot something in the video, or if you want to recommend a new video, let me know down in the comments below. But until next time, 
Thank you so much for watching.